again, my name is uh, Russell Scott from scottcarvings.com and today I'm going to carve a grinning face and what I like to do is I, I like to put grinning faces on things like I've done pumpkins and snowmen and, and uh, this particular piece is an apple so I thought well we'll create, actually create an apple. Uh, one example here just recently I finished was uh, the heart for Valentine's Day. Not done yet. I was gonna maybe put some legs on and arms sticking out you know and him grinning and dancing and whatever. <clears throat> so it is basically a grinning face and uh, I'll be using uh, chisels and knives. I got the uh, Little um, stem there, we'll take that out of there. I'm sure I'll lose it if I don't. Now this one, uh, you could you could take the, the block of wood to the saw on this one here. I'm going to find the grain of the wood, but I'm going to start from scratch. The grain kind of goes a little bit like this, so it's one of these two corners that I want to choose as for the nose. So I'm going to leave that alone. Let's look at the bottom. Yeah. See how this looks like it gets closer to the center, and this is more farther out. So I'll leave that for the nose, but the rest I want to round out. And for the first part of this video, I'm just going to be whacking out a lot of this extra wood we got here. And I suppose while I'm doing that, I can first I'm gonna put another glove on. Kind of hurts my hand when I when I chisel. Let's see how stiff this wood is. Usually, of course, you don't know until you get in there. Now, I like to chisel uh, using my wrist. I'm using my wrist. I'm not using my whole arm. So if I use my wrist, then I could carve in my direction. And not hurt myself. One of the things that I've taught before, said before, is when you carve is you think about what you're trying, what you what how far do you want the knife or the chisel to go? And a lot of people may just push a lot of pressure, just push and don't care where it goes. That's where you get in trouble. That's where you get cuts and get yourself hurt. See, I'm only going to carve like right here. Instead of just starting this in and then snap and have the, the tool go flying. Sometimes I like to really take off some nice hunks of wood there. Oh, what is that? Looks like a... I do what I'm carving there. Can you see that? Is that a... It is, an anom it is an anomaly of some kind. Of Go to tool be on the back side. So it looks like we picked the right side. Oh, that was a 50-50. Put that on the ground there. We could have picked that side. I've been carving for, well, as of this video, um, 13 years. Well, is that a good number or unlucky number? Well, let's hope it'll be okay for me. Um, I started out with figures, human figures, and then I went into uh, realistic human figures, and then I went into characters, characters later. And now I do both. Characters and human figures, it depends on what I'm in the mood of. Of course, a lot of times I I start in, every year I start about August, so I start doing my Christmas carvings. I don't carve not much else until after January. 
And that's when I start January and February, my favorite two months. I can carve whatever I want. But I love carving sand as it's just you keep carving until waiting until Christmas time it comes around so I can put it down for a while. That'd be uh, up north in the lakes in the middle of August where it'd be a hundred degrees and sweating and sitting on the lake and watching people swim in the lake while I'm carving out Santas and snowmen. Whenever you have an opportunity to take a class, that's the other thing. Take a class. Learn some techniques. But be careful that you don't take on somebody else's style. You're just learning the techniques. Okay, we got it got it started off there. Let me clean this place up here. Now, I'm going to use only some of this for the nose. See like right there. I like to have that big schnoz in there coming out. So I'm going to start right on in here with, um, no, 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 I won't. I'm going to round, I'm going to keep rounding, I'm sorry. Now I'm going to start rounding this way. This is the fun part because you start cut, you start cut, cutting around, and you know what? I think for the sake of this video, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to play with that last. Let's get straight to let's get to the face. This is the reason why you're watching this video. I can I can round it off in my own time there. All right. So I want to start by taking this glove off. I'm going to take using the. No, actually, I'm going to use my chisel again. I'd say the nose is about. Um, the eye is generally in the center, but I. But we want to. I'll just pencil this in here for now, and we'll take a look at. The eye would be in the center, because you're going to have like you're going to have. Uh, I mean, we're not having an eyeball in this guy here. Eye is in the center. And then the eyebrow is going to be like right about here, but then if you have a nose here, then the, you won't have much room for the mouth, and we want this mouth to be pretty wide open. So in this particular case, the eyeball is going to be a bit farther up. I can always chance it and have an eyeball up a little higher. You know, see that this the whole face could have probably lifted up a little more, and you know, it would still be good. I think I just had just enough, and I could have, if I would have lifted the face up, then I could have had the mouth open even farther. We gotta take the chance of just a little higher up. So here's another one of the do as I say, not as I do, because I'm gonna take this pencil mark here. Pretend, yeah, let's leave that alone there, and we'll. I want the nose to be like right here, so. And so, the first thing that I want to do, I want, I've got my eye line, I'm going to bring the eye line out. Because see, the eye line is here in the L, and then the eyebrow is going to be around here, coming around. I think we're okay, is it a little high? For this. Might be a little high. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to give it a try by lifting the face just a little bit. Okay, you got your eye line, you got your nose line. Maybe I'll lift the nose line a little bit here, just a little bit. And I'm going to have to take my, my glove back on because I like using the chisel. You can use the knife. I'm going to go right at the nose line. I'm going to come straight down. Stop cut, and then cut up to that stop cut. And we're going to bring that nose out. See if I can do 
this and lift my elbow a little bit here. Yeah, that's just to get started. I'm sure we're going to have to smooth that out a little bit more. Then you're going to take your knife or chisel and you want to cut this off. If we were to look at it, you're going to cut it like this. You're not going to touch the tip of that nose. But we're going to go, it's about 30 degrees. This is a fairly decent piece of wood. Okay. Now I can take the gloves off. I think I'm gonna I'm done with the major the big chisel there. Get some more of this stuff on the floor. Make sure I don't put him back in there just in case I accidentally throw him down on the floor. Anyways, get the gloves back on. We may end up uh, taking a little bit more off down here for the nose, but for now, we're just getting it started. Now we want to make a uh, triangular shape for the nose. Make it as wide as possible. For two reasons. I mean, he's got a big schnoz anyways. And we want to make sure we have enough lumber when we play with that nose. It'll be like this. Put the triangle, oops, what do you call it, an obtuse triangle, come, come up sharp and down at an angle like that. So like a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, we're going to take the knife and we're going to carve away from the nose. Now this is going to, I'm a right-handed, so this, I'm going to start with the easy end because we want to carve away from the nose. And when you're right-handed, you have a tendency to to, to bend the knife this way. Of course, left hand would be in reverse. Uh, that's going to be fine here, but when we think about carving away from the nose, we want to carve this way away from the nose. And this is where we'd have to do a lot of thinking about what we're doing instead of just simply grabbing the knife and going ahead and whacking away. Now, at this point, at this point here, we're going to dig deep and then we're going to go shallow, bring it up shallow, shallow. So now there's this deep down and you're bringing it up. Now here it's going to start shallow and you're going to dig down. Shallow and then deeper. And this end here is just going to be sort of a medium cut. This is just to get started. Now we're going to make chips here. We're going to go from this high point here to the low point right there and we're going to carve in because these two cuts carved this way, now we're going to make a chip. And again, we're just getting started. Don't worry about um, not taking a big chip off right away. You can. It could take a few swipes before you even get as much as this out, but we are going to go much, much deeper than that. We're just, we're just kind of getting started here. We're just planting in the the first cuts. Now this next cut is going to be parallel with the eye line and we're going to go down to the eye line halfway between halfway up the nose and we're going to go down deeper into the eye line and it should meet. You can see the chip is starting to come out. No prying. No prying with the knife or the chisels. Okay, it doesn't have to worry. We don't have to worry about it being too clean. I mean, I like to have it clean for the camera. Now, one thing is about the camera, it picks up the littlest thing. I can have that clean perfectly, but the, but the camera really picks up on the junk. Mm -hmm.